Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to install Firefox silently on multiple remote computer. So in our lab, uh, we have a domain controller and we have two uh, servers where we are going to install the Firefox. So let me show that nothing is installed on both computer. Okay. Now coming to the script. So we the first line we have given the server variable we are uh, where we are giving the server list in a text format. So let me open that. Uh, you can see here we have mentioned three computer, uh, but we only have a two computer. So I want to show you that if any server is power off or is uh, is not reachable uh, during the script run, then it will show you that okay hey this computer is not available, and then uh, it will perform the uh, you know action on the online computer. So uh, these two computers are only online and this computer is offline, like it is not available. Okay, so we are giving the server list here in the first uh, servers variable. And the second thing we have a folder uh, or the file variable where we have given the, you know, the, uh, the actual file which we want to copy on a server. So you can see here on the C drive on my local computer from where I'm running the script, uh, you have to give the path of that. Then I have a software folder and inside that there is a Firefox setup one to one exe is there. Okay. It is not a MSI file. It is a exe file. So we are going to install exe silently on a multiple remote computer. Now here uh, we are using the for each loop. So everybody knows that uh, you know we have the multiple computers. So uh, we have to perform the script on each and every computer remotely. So uh, it will perform the loop on all the computer and one by one it will perform the script on that. Okay. So uh, so after the for each loop we have the if statement, and here we are giving that uh, test connection and the buffer size is a 32 count to one. So it will try to ping that computer uh, and it will try to check that computer if it is uh, online or offline. So if it get response back, then it will perform some certain action. And if it found that, okay, uh, uh, he is not getting response back from that computer, then it will consider as uh, server down and it will mention in a separate line. Okay. So uh, in this if statement, we have given this curly bracket till here. Okay. So you have to understand, uh, understand one thing here. So in this curly bracket, we are giving this all para. Why? Because if we found that computer uh, in an online state, then only we are going to perform some action on that, right? Else it will uh, it will say, hey, right host the remote computer, this is offline. Okay, so we don't have to perform any action on that and it will not ever work, right? So we uh, like we are giving that in a separate sentence that uh, okay the computer is offline and you cannot perform the action. Now suppose the test is successful right here uh, that um, like uh, the server is reachable then we will perform the next step test connection uh, the folder path okay why because we are copying that uh, exe into the remote computer c drive and temp folder. So uh, it will check that, okay, uh, now the server is available. Now I have to check the path. So it will check uh, that computer, they, their C drive and the temp folder. If it is present, then fine, uh, it will proceed further. But uh, again, we have used the if statement here, right? So if that path is accessible, okay, means uh, in the remote computer, temp folder is there in the C drive, then it will say, hey, path exists, hence installing the software on this, this server, okay? Now consider that folder is not there, then definitely it has to create. So uh, that statement in a, uh, we have given in a else statement, okay? Right host path doesn't exist, hence it creating a folder on this server and starting the installation. And uh, after this custom message, we are giving the actual command, uh, uh, which will create a folder on the remote computer. Now what is that command? New hyphen item, then item type, we are creating a directory, then name, we are giving temp and path we are giving the remote computer path and the C colon. Okay, so uh, inside the C drive, it has to create a folder. Now here we have used pipe and we have given out null. It means uh, whenever this command will be successful run, it will not show output. Okay, because we don't want that. Now here uh, we are giving again uh, the custom message that echo 
copying files to C drive time because now the folder is created and it will go ahead okay so we are giving that message and here we have used the copy hyphen item command okay now the folder uh, the source we are giving from here okay this folder and this is the path of the file and here we are giving the remote path okay so here it will try to uh, connect to the remote computer open the C drive time folder and it will copy the uh, paste the file into that folder once the copy paste is done uh, we will we are giving again the custom message second part installing software on this server okay if you want uh, this custom message you can keep it or otherwise you can remove it there is no effect on the script now here we have used the invoke command okay then computer name so whichever computer uh, for each loop will take it will uh, come here the exact value okay and then script block we are using the start hyphen process then file path so on the remote computer it will try to perform the command so definitely on the remote computer it is that software is present in the c drive temp folder so here you have to give the local path that you have to remember okay uh, here uh, whenever the start process uh, command you will use so you have to give the local path of that remote computer not the remote path okay then argument uh, we are using as a uh, forward slash s because we have to silently install that and it is very much important okay but uh, here you have to remember one thing the software should support silent installer okay then only it will work it is not like uh, you can uh, you know give the path of any exe file and you try to give the uh, argument as a as silent okay uh, then again we are here giving the start hyphen slip uh, so 35 milliseconds we are uh, holding the script uh, to complete and then we are removing the file which we have copied right so you have to give the uh, give it here now once this uh, path is done okay uh, we are coming to the else statement where we say uh, i said that right uh, we are testing the connection first and if the computer is down then it will come here directly and it will say hey this server is offline and now again it will come to the next loop okay now uh, this is a script and uh, we are going to run that okay run once and you can see here uh, the path exists copying file second part installing software so uh, let's go on a C drive time folder and you can see here the ex is present let's go on a second computer so you can check file exists or not okay so once the software installation is done it will remove that exe file okay it went on a second computer and we can see here the exe has been deleted automatically by the script okay and now the exe have been copied here and even we can see the firefox is installed here on the control panel okay you can see See here also you can see the firefox has been installed we can see the icon in on a desktop and here also and you can see the third server it is showing hey the remote computer is offline okay so we got the point right everything uh, is coming on the screen as per the message and our software is also installed now i i want to show you some another thing okay here uh, because whenever we are copying the file we are not getting the actual you know uh, the we we cannot track that right when uh, when the file is started copying and uh, uh, when it is finished copying that file right so i need that information so what i have done okay let me uninstall that here because again we will try to install the same So there is a separate command for that okay and when you use that command it will show you actual progress of copying file and that is called as a bit transfer okay start bit transfer so this command will show you the actual progress of the copying file that we will see here again so let me clear the window here okay now here we are giving the command import module bit transfer so this command like this module is available on all the powershell uh, which is are uh, like uh, later than uh, 2.1 i guess so okay so everywhere now we are using the 5.1.1 
so uh, this is easily available on all the computer where, wherever there is a power shell so you can use this command to see uh, the actual progress of the copying file okay now here uh, i have removed that custom message where i say hey uh, you know a copying file starting the installation because i don't want that here now uh, let me verify okay server list then folder is there okay fine so i'm running this command and you can see here there is no firefox installed run one while closing statement okay fine okay done run one and you can see the file copying has been done on the first computer and you can see here it is there and it says path exists and installing software on the this computer so let's uh, delete the folder here on the second computer so it should create the folder okay i deleted that and you can see path doesn't exist hence creating folder on server 2 and starting the installation but else is not recognized as similarly the function okay i given at the wrong place okay it should have been here but that is fine okay we can see here it is installed and here also it is there yes correct okay no problem so we had this machine because i had given this curly bracket here at the end because this script will only cover till this okay and then else statement should be uh, covered separately so let me again uninstall this okay from here and we'll again run the script and from here done okay so let me clear the screen and let me run it again so i have given the curly bracket here now run once okay path exist and the installing software and we can see here fine okay you can see there is no error message now because uh, the curly bracket has been you know put correctly now so whenever you are uh, you know learning the powershell you have to make sure the uh, correct path is being covered you know in a curly bracket and whichever the part you are covering it should come into that then only it will work otherwise it will cover the whole passage like uh, in the in this if statement it was covering the else statement that is the reason it was giving the error but now uh, whenever it is testing the computer it is only covering this part because this is what the statement is like if the connection is uh, you know the server is online then only perform this action but earlier uh, because of the curly bracket issue it was covering this uh, as well like whenever the computer is offline okay and you can see now uh, it is very clear message uh, on the server one two installation completed and server three is offline so this is how uh, let me show the computer okay both where uh, the power cell is installed okay so this is how you can use this script uh, so it can check the computer is available or not okay the first part and the second part it will again check the folder is uh, available in the c drive or not and if it is not then it will create, uh, try to create that folder okay so if you have any uh, doubt or query you can put into the comment box i'll try to answer that Thank you for watching the video.